Morning guys, it's Saturday and I'm about to go run some few errands. My doctor called another prescription, doubling one of my medications, but she said it was two of them. I can't remember um, the second one. Um, and then they suggested a blood pressure cuff. So I got on Amazon and found it for $40, which was really good. Um, and then the blood pressure cuff I got from Amazon. No, I got it from Walmart.com. So this is the situation. So you know I've been looking for a rack to hold my purses in the closet. Found one online at Walmart with great reviews for $10. I bought it. But they were going to charge me a shipping fee if I didn't get a minimum of $35. Trying to think hard of what to get, putting in different things, and the blood pressure cuff came to mind. So Walmart.com. So I should have, I'll have that Tuesday. Yeah. Monday or Tuesday I'll have it. Deliver it to the house. Um, go get medicine. We got the blood pressure cuff coming. Uh, shoe rack coming. Hopefully this works out. If not, I can pack it up and take it right to um, Walmart. Going to take this return back to the um, FedEx store once they open. Is it no the UPS store once they open? And that's about it. And I'm washing clothes. I'm on my second little clothes. Is at the house washing. And I'm thinking about going to uh, so Monday. Never mind. Not sure. But anyway, um, yeah, that's it. Blood pressure, uh, medicine pickup, return, donate something. And that's it. I was actually going to do so to see if I could find the rack to hold my purse, but I just remember when talking to you guys <clears throat> that I ordered one for M uh, from Walmart.com for ten dollars. So hopefully it works out. And I'm hoping that I can kinda for real, build it. Let's get closer and closer. They got the road blocked. I gotta get the Walgreens, dude. Okay, so I gotta cut through. Um, forgot why I lost my train of thought. Uh, I have no idea. I gotta call the doctor's office. Be for a message that actually what that second medication is I need to double up on. Just that quick, I lost my train of thought. Um, I'm hoping that this rack really works. It looks like you can, I guess, either go, it's made to go across, but hopefully I can go. Did he, how did he get through? I don't know, we'll see when we get it. So when I get it, I'll unbox it with you. And let's see if it works. And if not, I'm taking it down and dropping it off. Oh, he cut through the gas station. Okay. All right, guys. I'm at Walgreens. Let me go and grab my medication, which is free. Thank God. And uh, today, all of my food will be gone. I'll be back. No time ever in my life have I ever walked in Walgreens and found the deal that I found. And what's crazy is, um, um, I just happened to look at the orange tags. You know, orange tags are parents now. So they're, um, I guess, getting rid of them. Now, I don't know what this is. Olay Regenerous. This is a facial cleanser. I'll try it. 99 cents. And these, let me find the receipt before I tell you wrong. <clears throat> okay. I got this. And this. A dollar seventy-nine each. I'm gonna taste this because sometimes this stuff can be really nasty. Let me taste it right now. I 
expiration date still good. It's actually a year from now. And this one is a year and nine months from now. Alright. Let me try one. Why did I come up silver on it? That's good. Hmm. Sweet. That's good. What are we doing? Baby, I need to move. Oh, lady, I need to move. I do not want to hit this baby. Go ahead, sweetie. Go ahead. I guess she's trying to get weed from the weed man. Little girl trying to get in the car. She's sick. With no freaking proper clothing on. It's cold and wet out here. Ooh, some of these parents. <laughs> Anywho. Alright, so let me go to the store. Not this store. To this um downtown to drop this Amazon return off. Was it something I was supposed to do? I don't know. When I go home and wash clothes. And then I have to work the night. So I have to take my uniform to the dryer. Um... I'm going to just take everything with me, and if I get an open dryer a few, I'll go ahead and dry while I'm here. Because I know everybody and their mother is drying clothes. Because it's Saturday morning, and that's what they do. Um, and that's about it. Freddy's are opening all over the place. I'll be back. Listen. Um... Okay, I just returned. Um, dang it! Why am I? Why? What's going? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? You see me turning. All right, so that's returned. So now I'm heading back home. But I want to say something. Oh, now listen. I'm sitting here plotting, trying to figure out how in the world I can not have this part-time job. Oh. Dang, man. This is the thing. Like, I went and made these bills. And I need a part-time job to take care of the gas, food, and dry my clothes, right? So I did this to myself. So it, I'm losing some of my nights, chilling at home, doing absolutely nothing, and my Saturdays because of me. Now I'm trying to wing a lot of it. And I really can't. Well, I can, but it's going to be tight. And I got this job that has some leeway. And originally, I was supposed to get a night job working just Monday through Friday cleaning offices um, from like five to eight or something like that. Or trying to pine up pine or find a part time job working from home at the night and on the weekends. She worked around my schedule really good. So. And I hadn't been in that long to, like, really understand everything. Like, for the most part, I got it. 90% of the stuff I got, it, it's just that the certain buttons that when somebody brings in a certain type of card, not a credit card, like a whatever card, it's like 10 different steps and blah, 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 blah. I really, really, really... Um, well, not had this part time job. Maybe it's because it's a type of job. I think that's probably what it is. I think that's probably what it is. It's just a type of job. And I think that's what it is. So I don't know if I should start low key looking for something else that I'm going to like a little better or what, but I still can't work Wednesdays and I prefer to have my weekends off. I don't know. I have no freaking clue. And then Walmart just emailed me and told me that my um, high blood pressure cuff will be um, delivered today from a nearby store. And I didn't, you know, it did cross my mind and go to the store. I was like, well, no, I'm online ordering this thing. So let me go ahead and order this so I can get free shipping. 
So they'll be bringing it from a store today. And I'll be taking it to my doctor on the 1st. Because I'm supposed to have some testing done. But I'm going to still go so he can uh, check my blood pressure. Okay, I'll get back with y'all. I got to make a quick call. I need to leave his nurse a message. I need to find out what the second medication was that I needed to double up on. I'm about to donate this blood pressure cuff to this thrift store that I go to where I get my stuff super cheap and I'm cool with a lot of the people. I put a note to let them know the deal about it and yeah. So I hope my guy is up front today. He's a sweetheart. I'll be back. Okay, so I went to donate but I ended up finding two items for four dollars that was not the plan i just talked about having to work a part-time job evidently i got a stupid addiction so one is going to be it's a piece of material i'm going to put up as curtains and um the other one is a dress but i need the pieces off of it to go with a duster that i'm um redoing Extremely, extremely. But anyway, I generally don't want to put these things in my washer. Um, but I don't know. I may not still do it. I try to. I want to like disinfect them first <clears throat> and wash it by hand in the bucket and disinfect them first. Get them clean that way and then wash it with the Lysol, disinfect it for clothing and stuff like that. But we'll see. So I'm about to go home, rinse this. Um, my clothes is washing. It's finished washing the second load. So I'm going to go and put it in the um, rinse cycle. And when I think it's done rinsing, then I'll start drying it and put it in the next load. I'm doing some curtains out of my room. out of the room where I'm working on now and some other heavy stuff so that's why I got so many loads because you can't pack the washing machine but you know the curtains wasn't a part of the plan but it is now it's no need for me to spend money on certain things when I can wash it at the house so that's what I'm about to go do Bed Bath & Beyond store closing that's crazy because I saw another location that's not closing I mean they often close because they're, they're useless Bed Bath & Beyond is useless I think JCPenney's located is useless. Even though they revamped, I think JCPenney's let it go. Just like came out, let it go. Came out is a whole different country. Um, who else needs to let it go? Tuesday mornings is also closing. I saw one of the location closing. They need to let it go. Who else needs to let it go? I'm trying to think. Just let it go. I gotta remember to get on Thursday my gift card and my check. Not going there because I don't need anything out the, out the store. Yeah. I'm good with everything. I'll be glad when they release these income tax monies. I can't have it. I wish I could. But I can't have it. Because I'm paying off debt. I need to give me another, I need to give me a part-time job. An even part-time job. But I work on my schedule no weekends because I'd rather just be in the house and do this work or whatever. Or just have something throughout the week. Because I just, I, this right here. Mm. Whew. All right, y'all. I feel myself not having nothing to talk about. So I'm about to go home. And if I think of anything, anything else go down on this lovely Saturday. We'll chit chat about it. But other than that, no. And I'm trying to, I don't know what I want to do. I normally have my hair in crochets. And I'm sick of wearing this sweater thing on my head but the only reason why i have it on right now is because i have a plastic cap on a black bonnet and then this over it, and i have um a mask on my hair but i did like this because i don't want to wear a bonnet in the store but with my hair not being in crochets and if i wear a wig which i think i'm about to go into to the timu and order one because i see some nice wigs give me one or two wigs and that way i can come home and air my hair out and then when I take showers I can go ahead and just um wash my hair too 
and throw some whatever in it. You know, the weekend's not putting nothing on it. I think I need to do that for a while. I'm thinking about cutting my hair myself into a style. I know I could pull it off. Glory be to God. <laughs> but if I do all that, you know, I record it. But anyway, I'm home, backing up, and I'm about to get in here and finish my clothes. I'm going to talk with y'all on the flip side. If I got anything to do, but I um just got to well putting my um just got to putting leave in it and thing inside of my hair. My hair is so soft. My scalp feels amazing because I don't have nothing tied into it holding it down. Anyway, I got a blood pressure cuff. This one was recommended by my doctor. When you go on Amazon, it tells you it's doctor recommended. Hold on. All right. So I'm rinsing some clothes. And um, I'm filling that washing machine up to rinse some clothes. So the lady taught me how to use the blood pressure cuff. And normally it'll tell you where to have whatever for the artery. But it's not saying. And... All right, so... Let's see. I can't sit back. My feet will be dangling, so I'll just sit up and see how this worked. This was made in Vietnam. Wow. So I have to put it here on my arm. One lady said leave it loose. One lady said leave it tight, have it a little tight. So we're just gonna have it a little bit. And we are going to do this together. My machine. This right here. So let's see how this works. Took four batteries. Put the batteries in, put the cuff in. And relax. The batteries. What's wrong? The batteries. I'll put in. Okay. I'll be back. That put some batteries I had in the drawer in there. Looks like them batteries ain't no good. <laughs> All right, hold on. All right. Um. It's not a good sign. Two twelve or one fifteen. Let me record that. Oh, uh, that's not good. All right, so I got it recorded. So this is what I start. This is what I deal with. I've taken the medication. Um, the only thing left for me to do, they said fasting. Hold on, I'm washing cold. So they said fasting stresses the body out. It um. It, it puts the body in stress mode. I don't want to stress my body out. So fasting will not be something on my radar. Now, eating no salt food. Um, where that thing at? Eating. No salt food, definitely. I want to do that for 30 days. Nothing with salt on it. No, that's just fruits and vegetables. Some have salads and, you know, stuff like that. Um, 30 days. Um, I'm going to walk 30 minutes a day, take my medication, and notate my pressure. I, I can't, I mean, 
I might go on. Okay. So, I mean, I don't know what else to do. It has to be the food. But I'm not eating. Well, no. I did eat something, but I think it may have had salt. But I don't know, but yeah. March 1st. I have a stress test. March 10th, he's gonna check my pressure. By March 10th, he should have good results. Cause I will already be eating, um, what I be eating now today. All I have is beans and water, and I got some, some broccoli, and I can mix it with some butter, eat that between the day and tomorrow. So, it'll get better, but anyway, so I just want to show you what I deal with, and, my last bit of clothes is washing. The next thing I have to wash is some curtains. And that's about it. I gotta dry my uniform and I go to work at two o'clock and I'm sleepy. So I need to get the curtains in there washing. And they may be there all day because I'm, I'm not for monitoring, I need to take a nap. And that's that. So I'll probably back on with you guys later. So I'll see you in a few. Good morning. It is. Am I holding this phone right? I need to hold it like this and stop holding it the other way. Anyway, it's it's Sunday morning. Um, yesterday, I washed everything and I left the dress washing and I went to work at 2 o'clock. I did get my uniform dried. I had to go to a totally different laundromat, which was amazing. And I've went to this laundromat before, and my clothes dry so fast, and it'd be nice and dry. I don't be there long. Like today, I, I took my basket of clothes, because all I could do was, I ran out of time yesterday. So all I could do was dry my uniform, and I think it took like one quarter, six minutes, it was dry. And um, nothing shrunk, thank God. So I went to the same laundromat this morning, and I was out there in less than an hour. I think I was done within like 30 minutes, 35 minutes. <clears throat> but it's a, it's not a far from my house. It's not as close as the other one. The other ones were packed. I mean like packed, packed. So I dried my uniform. I got dressed. I ate. And I left um, this dress. I got from the store for $2. Washing. I'm going to cut the stuff off of it. And I um, went to work. I was supposed to work from 2 to 9. We got slow. And they let me go at, was it 7.30 or 8.30, 830, which was fine. It was 8.30? 7, no, 7.30. Came home. What did I do last night? Um, Took the dress out of the, wash, out of the washer. I washed some thrifted items for the first time in my washing machine. So I went ahead and took some Lysol and just disinfect the inside, run some hot water and wipe it down, drain it out. Um, took my medicine. I think I just jumped in my bed. I don't think I did nothing in that room. So like I said, that room inside there is the um, only thing that I'm attacking for a while. Got up this morning, took my basket down to the laundromat, dry my clothes, and I need to figure out what I'm going to do with my hair. I have I have hair to make wigs. Like, I, I don't have an excuse for my hair not being done. It's just that I just don't want to attach nothing to it like the crochet I've been doing. I don't want to have to braid it down. I want to be able to have access to my hair. So I need to make this wig. Um, I'm going to church, come back home. Um, I'm, I have a bag of broccoli. That's all I'm going to have to eat today. And then I need to go to the grocery store. I got two gift cards for my job. And I got 10% off things, so I don't have any shoes. And I had a paycheck. I didn't know it was sitting in, in that thing. So we, I get paid for my main job. No. The week I don't get paid for my main job, I get a paycheck from there. But I won't have a paycheck the following Thursday because I was out the hospital. But the next one, I will. Yeah. So... <sighs> Those checks is motivating the heck out of me because they're pretty. Um, and only for a, sh a little bit of hours. Like this check here, I don't only remember working, I don't know, I don't know how many hours I worked. But anyway, yeah. So I need to um, work on the drawer inside there. Get rid of some stuff out of the drawer. Um, get rid of stuff out of the drawer. 
my sewing area, I got a little bit of stuff to do. I need to figure out my hair, but then I got stuff still all over the floor and stuff because I need to figure out if I'm going to keep it or let it go. And um, I got to go through my Poshmark stuff. I may not do that until May, almost June. And that's it. But that room is priority. The rest of my house, it looks a mess. I got a hill of clothes that's washed and dry I need to put up. So I've been picking my clothes out of there. My dishes are washed. I told myself, I was like, I'm going to make sure that my clothes is washed and my dishes is washed. The rest of the house will be junky. That's fine. I got to keep my focus on that room. That room is the only room that has as much stuff in it that I need to actually go through. I keep going to that room and cleaning up and sticking stuff in spots and not doing what I really need to do. But anyway, I digress. I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Today is Sunday. That's all I got going on. Nothing going on this week. My order from Amazon and from um, Walmart should be here Monday or Tuesday. And I need to run to this place uh, <clears throat> to look for something on, what you call it? Um, I forgot whatever day. And then I got my stress test on March 1st. Ain't nothing going on. That's about it. Anything new and exciting happened, I'll record. But other than that, I'm going to go. Y'all have a great rest of your day. I'm already five minutes in. This video is going to be long, about 35 minutes long. Yeah. All right. Bye.